Welcome to Daswell Group. Today, we bring you a hot topic in the crushing industry, mobile crushing plant versus stationary crushing plant, which one is right for your project? How do you balance cost, capacity, and flexibility? In the next few minutes, we'll give you a clear comparison, so you can make a smart choice. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more practical crushing plant solutions from Daswell Group. Crushing plants are the heart of many mining, construction, and road projects. They turn big rocks into usable aggregates, sand, or other building materials. But here's the question. Should you choose a mobile crushing plant or a stationary crushing plant? Both are called crushing plants, but they serve very different needs. Let's break it down step by step. The mobile crushing plant is like a moving factory. It is installed on wheels or tracks, and you can move it from one job site to another. It's designed for flexibility, and it works especially well in projects where the site changes often. The advantages of a mobile crushing plant are clear. First, it's easy to move between sites and saves transition time. Second, no complicated installation is needed. Third, it has a compact structure with a small footprint. Fourth, the setup is flexible, with different crushing and screening options. Finally, it cuts transport costs by processing materials directly on site, but on the downside, the price is higher than that of a stationary crushing plant. Maintenance cost is also higher. The output is usually lower because of smaller crusher sizes and for many mining sites. You may need more than one mobile unit now. Let's move on to the stationary crushing plant. This type is built on a fixed foundation, usually in quarries or long-term mining sites. It doesn't move once installed, but it's powerful and designed for high capacity. Its advantages include, first, mature technology and stable running, second, long service life with simple maintenance, third, higher capacity thanks to large crushers, fourth, continuous production brings a higher return on investment, Finally, many configurations are available, such as jaw, cone, impact, and vertical shaft crushers, but there are disadvantages too. It requires a large site area and strong concrete foundations. Installation takes more time, manpower, and cost. Once installed, it cannot be moved to another site. Raw materials often need to be transported, which adds cost, so. How do you choose between mobile and stationary crushing plants? It depends on your project. If you need flexibility and frequent relocation, the mobile crushing plant is the right choice. If your project is long-term and has high production demand, a stationary crushing plant is more reliable. Ask yourself, do I want mobility or do I want the largest capacity? Think like this, a road contractor with short projects in different cities? He prefers a mobile crushing plant a mining company with a fixed quarry for 20 years. They go for a stationary crushing plant, different needs, different solutions. That's why Daswell provides both options, customized to meet your specific project needs. In summary, mobile crushing plants give you flexibility, fast setup, and lower transport costs. Stationary crushing plants give you higher capacity, stability, and long-term benefits, so which one fits your business? Mobile or stationary? Leave your thoughts in the comments and tell us about your project needs. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. At Daswell, we bring you professional solutions in crushing plants, from design to after-sales service. Stay tuned for more videos, and thank you for your time. Thank you.